Welcome to Exusia Investing TV, your premier destination for a wealth of financial literacy, wealth wisdom, and wealth empowerment. Today we delve into a topic often overlooked, yet of significant importance, final expenses. These are the costs associated with the end of life including funeral expenses, medical bills not covered by health insurance, and any outstanding debts. They are the last financial obligations you'll ever have, and failing to plan for them can leave a heavy burden on your loved ones. In our journey to financial empowerment we explore every aspect of money management and wealth creation, and yes that includes planning for the inevitable. The importance of understanding and planning for final expenses cannot be overstated. It's not just about easing the burden on our loved ones, but also about ensuring our financial legacy remains intact. Financial empowerment starts with knowledge, and understanding final expenses is a critical part of that journey. Now that we've defined final expenses, let's delve into the key components that make up these costs. Firstly, we have funeral costs. This is often the most substantial part of final expenses. Funeral costs can include but are not limited to the burial plot, casket or urn, embalming or cremation, and memorial service fees. Depending on the type of service and burial chosen, these costs can range from a few thousand to tens of thousands of dollars. Next, we have outstanding medical bills. In many cases, individuals may have incurred significant healthcare costs in the weeks or months leading up to their passing. These costs can be from hospital stays, surgeries, medications, and other treatments. It's important to note that these costs can greatly vary based on the individual's health condition and the type of medical care they received. Another component of final expenses is legal fees. This can include the costs of hiring an attorney to execute the will, handling probate, or settling any legal disputes that might arise. Legal fees like the other components we've discussed so far, can also vary greatly depending on the complexity of the estate and any potential legal issues. Lastly, we have outstanding debts. This can include mortgages, car loans, credit card debt, or any other personal loans that the deceased may have had. These debts don't just disappear when someone passes away. They become a part of the estate and are typically settled during the probate process. It's also worth mentioning that the costs we've discussed can fluctuate based on individual circumstances and preferences. For instance, a simple cremation without a memorial service can be significantly less expensive than a full traditional funeral and burial. Similarly, someone with minimal debt and few medical bills will have lower final expenses than someone with significant debt and healthcare costs. As you can see, final expenses can quickly add up, making it crucial to plan ahead. Having discussed the components of final expenses we now turn to the importance of planning for these expenses. Imagine for a moment a loved one has just passed away. The emotional toll is heavy, the grief is overwhelming and amidst it all, you're suddenly saddled with the responsibility of settling their final expenses. This is a scenario we wouldn't wish upon anyone. It's the harsh reality of what can happen when final expenses aren't planned for in advance. Planning for final expenses is an act of love, a way to ease the burden on those left behind. It's about ensuring your loved ones aren't left scrambling to cover the cost of a funeral, medical bills, or other outstanding debts. This is a time when they should be allowed to grieve, to remember and to heal, not to worry about financial matters. Moreover, planning for final expenses offers peace of mind. It's comforting to know that your financial affairs are in order, that you've done what you can to shield your loved ones from unnecessary financial stress. It provides a sense of security, knowing that even in death, you're still taking care of those you care about the most. Final expenses can also be quite significant. The average funeral can cost anywhere from seven dollars to $10,000, and that's without considering any outstanding debts or medical bills. Without a plan in place, these costs can become a heavy burden, potentially leading to financial instability or hardship for your loved ones. Planning for final expenses is not just about money, it's about caring for your loved ones even after you're gone. It's about providing them with the space to grieve without financial worry, and the peace of mind knowing that they're taken care of. It's a conversation that may be difficult to have, but it's one that's necessary for the sake of those we leave behind. And remember the goal isn't to dwell on the end, but to ensure that when the time comes, you leave behind not a burden, but a legacy of love and care. Planning for final expenses is not just about money, it's about caring for your loved ones even after you're gone. With the importance of planning for final expenses now clear, we explore the various options available for covering these costs. Firstly, there's the good old-fashioned savings account. By setting aside a certain amount each month, you can gradually build up a nest egg to cover these expenses. 
However, the downside is that this requires discipline and the funds may not be sufficient if an unexpected event occurs. Another option is life insurance, a contract with an insurance company that, in exchange for premium payments, provides a lump sum payment, known as a death benefit, to beneficiaries upon the insured's death. Life insurance can offer a substantial payout, but it often comes with higher premiums and may not be an option for those with health issues. A more specialized option is final expense insurance. This is a type of life insurance designed specifically to cover funeral expenses and other end-of-life costs. It typically has lower premiums and is easier to qualify for than traditional life insurance. However, the payout is generally lower. Lastly, some people opt for a combination of these options. For example, you might have a small final expense insurance policy to cover immediate costs, and a larger life insurance policy to provide for your loved ones after you're gone. Choosing the right option for covering final expenses depends on your personal circumstances and financial goals. We've covered a lot of ground today discussing final expenses and the importance of planning for them. By understanding what final expenses entail, recognizing their significance and exploring various options to cover them, we've taken a major step towards financial literacy. Remember, incorporating final expenses into your financial plan is not just farsighted, it's essential. Thank you for watching Exusia Investing TV, and thank you for being a part of our financial empowerment and wealth wisdom community. See you next time for more keys to financial literacy and insights for mastering the art of money management and generational wealth.